was going on with that before. It's crazy.
Okay, we're almost ready to get started here. Um, almost 10 where I'm at. It's got one more minute and we'll get started. We're just going to finish this up, hopefully today. So uh, last week we kind of just filled in the basics. Uh, I had some issues with my hand, which I still have, but um, I got an injection in there, so that helps. And I eventually am going to have to get surgery on that. So um, anyways, we're going to start. Uh, we might as well get started now. Um, I'm going to uh, work on the water lily right now, and I have some Alizarin Crimson. Uh, I have a Grumbacher that I've I use, and I also have this uh, Quinacridone Magenta. And uh, I put some Cobalt Blue out as well, and that I have as a golden uh, acrylic. So I'm going to work on this trying to uh, make this a little bit more like a water lily um, let's see I am going to mix a little bit of my magenta with a touch of the blue I don't want to I don't want it real dark but I do want it dark enough that um, I can like kind of do some little things like this on these petals and uh, let's see, we have one here, and it's just a little bit darker, and I think I want to go a little darker, maybe. It's always good to uh, try to keep the color combinations the same. Uh, you don't want to, like, get away from that, that shading. Here's a nice, this looks pretty decent here. And I think what I want to do, too, is I'm going to extend that one a little bit if I can. Just put that blue in here. Just to give it a little bit of shading here. And then we can work with the other. I like to get my darks in first. For some reason, it's easier for me. Uh, some other people might not like to do that, but uh, it just helps me to figure out where things need to be as far as the lighter shades go. And then back here, we've got some like darker shades also, so I'm going to get some of that in there also. Now I'm using a number six uh, flat, and this was a university, oh, it's a bright, I'm sorry. Windsor Newton brush and I had gotten this at Pacatans which is no longer in business and I missed that because they always had some decent brushes and so now I, I have to go to Michaels or Hobby Lobby for my brushes or order them online I also like Utrecht brushes they're very nice uh, you can get that on Dick Blick not Dick Blick yeah Dick Blick they have those. I'm going to scoop this one. Just scoop it a little bit. All right. Now, since I want to extend this one, these couple out here, I'm going to add some white to it. I'm going to put some alizarian crimson in there. And I have not um, washed my brush. I'm just using the same brush that I was using before. And I'm going to kind of like bring this down like that. Just kind of. Now with that white, it kind of helps to uh, make it a little bit um, more opaque. And this one also, I think I want to kind of bring that out to there. Just a tad. And it's going to be a little thinner here, so it's going to be a little bit longer. So I'm just working this uh, a little differently. But I'm still letting some of that orange come through. And we might need another coat of paint here. But um, this, uh, this should work nicely. Now I'm going to add a little bit more white to this because right here, I want to get this to be like a lighter, very 
highlight that comes up here. And I'm still using this brush. And this can also come down a smidge. I'll get that and then get some dark in there. Um, same with this one. It's going to be a little lighter on the edges. So we'll just make that light. Now we can always go over it with the dark. Now I'm going to wipe my brush off. Go into that dark again because I want this dark right in here. Which I may have to mix a little bit more. Okay. This is just a little smaller than the other ones here. Um, I might come in there and cut some of that out, actually. Uh, I want my light just to come around here, like here, and then have this one come up to meet it. Because what's, what's happening here is this is like folded up. So that shading in there is going to get a little lighter too. Just so it sticks out some. Right here, I'd like to make that a little bit lighter, just coming over so it looks like it's folded up. get that better once that dries a little bit more all right uh, so let's get this part in here a little bit of dark I'm still using that number six I like this brush on the tip of this, it's very white. So I'm not going to use that and then just drag it in. Okay. Just come down like this with that to meet. And it's going to do that here also. But we're going to drag this up, and then the other color is going to meet it. Something like that. I'm just hitting that very lightly. I'm wiping off my brush, going back into my white now, and I want this to be very dry. So I'm just going to hit this and pull it. I didn't need that too dry. Let's see here. Just like that. 
right, now let's see if we can get this to go the way I want it, now that it's dried a little bit, like that. Actually, it's like this. Okay. Very dark in here, it's very dark, so I'm going to have to make that very dark in there. But I'm just going to add this so I can get my dark a little bit better. Okay, so I want to get this leaf right here. And I'm going to go into my magenta, just full blast magenta. This petal, actually. I want this petal. It's going to come down. But I like that orange showing through. It just really highlights things and then there's this petal that comes up here so I'm just going to pull that up too this petal is going to come right over that that uh, shadow right there and it's going to also have a shadow <clears throat> now I'm going to add a little white to that magenta not a lot, just a little, just kind of to give it a little. I'm going to add a little alizarian in there too, alizarian crimson. Just kind of tone it down a little. Um, this one should come around like this. And there's this one that comes around here. Okay. And there's one that comes right in here. I'm just following a photo that I got on Pixabay. And in through here, it's very dark, so you can't really see them. Uh, so I'm going to make that a lot darker also. This off here. gonna just pull it through and then in through here it's gonna be all dark get these colors in okay so now I'm going back into my mixture of the cobalt blue and magenta and make this very dark so let's see so this one kind of just kind of goes like this. And of course we have this one that comes out. You can glaze on top of these things also. And this is dark in through here. Almost like a purpley shade. This one right here, shading goes into a V right there. Just outline that a little bit. And then, of course, this one as well. It's very dark in there, so it's going to have to get a little bit darker. And I have a little bit of very dark here so that it stands out more. It's dark. Yet it has that red in it. This one's very dark here. This one's very dark. You can almost start to see this shaping up. Okay. Okay, let's get some of these now. Let's see. I may need to wipe my brush. Get some of this. Get my 
adianta now there's gonna have to be a distinction in some of this because right now it just looks like a big glob of nothing so we'll have to get some distinction as far as uh, where these petals are behind so we're gonna have to get some shadows in here too some light and darks so I'm gonna mix a little bit of my magenta and white add a little alizarian in there just so I can find my petals here there we go one's here here so I hope everybody's doing well um, with the coronavirus thing that we are still hanging in there Actually, we're one of the lowest um, amount of cases in the United States. I, I imagine our governor has done very well. He's listened to the experts, and he uh, kept it down, which is a good thing. Kept it down. That's what's important, as long as we're not getting sick anymore. Uh, I'm a little nervous. I haven't been at work. I mean, I was at work, and then my hand went goofy. So I really am thankful that everything is working out so well, you know. love that that orange is coming through here and I want to try to keep that if I can just need more highlights and depth highlights and depth I can use some of my uh, phthalo blue to darken this up a bit uh, I think that that might help right now it's like kind of purpley but this phthalo blue is nice and dark, and I think that might help to get that depth. So I'm mixing alizarian crimson with that phthalo blue. Let's see how this works. Got like kind of a dark shade. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. as really as dark as I can and uh, hopefully you know like we want to still be able to see some highlights in here too so let's get some of that magenta some white get some of that color in here I want that orange to show through, so I'm going to let that in there because that really that really pops this. Now I'm going to rinse this out 
and I'm going to get a smaller brush because I want to go into my green here and uh, kind of have a little bit of a space here because I made that so large. I'm just going to come up and kind of get that in there. Just kind of like to separate that petal a little bit. Use this brush again. Okay. There we go. Just kind of giving it some of the details to work it a little bit closer. Now that's uh, that was my chrome oxide. We had talked about that color last week or that shade, and. this covered here a little bit. We're going to make those uh, little pads a little lighter. Okay, so let's get some more dark in here. Let's get some more dark. Right in here, we want a little bit more dark. Before it starts to dry, I'm going to get that depth. Kind of just dry brushing this right now, trying to get those. There we go. That's starting to shape up now. I'm gonna rinse out my brush and going into my white. Just kind of getting. Now this brush is a number two. It's a Simply Simmons flat. I like this brush. Here, can come over with that white, and then we're going to go into light pink, just kind of come through here. And this actually, let me have that a little bit wrong here. Um, let's see, I think. a little bit lighter shade of magenta. The quinacridone magenta. There we go. This, this little thing has to look like it's turning up. dry brushing and right on the edge here of this one I'm going to just put it right here there's some light there okay and let's put some light right on this one here And I'm going to put more magenta out. Okay. And I'm going 
to put this right in here. And a little bit darker, I'm going to just go into my Alizarian Crimson and just kind of get this right in here. Just want a little depth right here. Just kind of like scooping that little scoop of it. Let me just bring this out. Just kind of scoop that a little. There we go. Okay. All right, now this one definitely have to have that little V in there. And I'm going into my magenta. Now we've got a nice background here, so uh, I want to wipe my brush. I want that to pop a little bit without using white. I don't want to use white if I don't have to there. Uh, I'd rather it just be a nice shade. So Grayscale, I uh, got my, uh, oh hi my, Margaret, how are you? Glad to see you here. Um, I got my webcaster and I have no uh, power cord for ACDC. The power cords that are, or the attachments that are in there are international. So I am stuck now until I can get something that will work and I'm hoping that I get something that will work. Unfortunate that that happened, but he said that he would uh, get whatever I need, which was nice because, I mean, I'd have to send it back if it's not together. I don't know even, it's a, I think five volt and then attaching it. I have no idea how to attach it. Well, I like the way this is turning out. This is looking good. All right. So, um, there is that shadow here, which I'm doing that got that shadow. Okay. So I just want to kind of glaze over it a little bit. Glazing with my magenta. Now, in through here, uh, there's like little yellow stamen -y things, I guess you'd call them. And I still want to get a little bit more highlights in some of this stuff here. Um, I need to scoop. Okay, so I did that. I scooped that. But I think I want to add a little bit of Alizarin and Crimson to make that dark here so it looks like it's scooped in. Just like that. And uh, this one, I'm going to just have that come down. Put a little bit of the blue mixture. And underneath this then, um, okay, there's going to be a little bit of a shadow right here so that we can divide that petal. Okay. Okay. And we are going to put a little white now to highlight. White Kind of making this just a little bit lighter. Oopsie, that might be too light now. But that's okay, because then ooh, I just went over the dark. <laughs> okay, let's put that dark back in. Okay. Go into the magenta. Now that this is light, I can probably cover it better. 
All right, there we go. That looks pretty nice, I like that. Okay, let's see if we can pump up some of those other ones now. Um, this one here, okay, a lot of it is dark. And then it has a little bit of a lighter uh, shade, like in through here. So we're just gonna kinda dry brush in. And then we're gonna put that um, magenta, kinda like giving it a little bit of cloud here. Okay. Let me get more of the magenta. Now I, I do like to dry brush a lot. It just does something to help um, the, the things pop up better. And uh, it takes some time to kind of learn that because you just don't want to have a whole bunch of paint on your brush and you're kind of just dry brushing it in just like that. And I like the little brushes to do that. Now I'm going to just highlight this little tip right here. Um, with my support. Okay. And I'm still trying to get this to do what I want. Okay, that might be better. And little bit of my and we'll get that dark in there yet still needs to be a little darker in through here Now today is my daughter's birthday. Um, she was born in 1976. She was a bicentennial baby. And uh, she's working today from home because of the COVID. Uh, they, both my daughters work at the university. And uh, she gets to work from home. My other daughter has to go in right now. She was at home for a while. Um, she works in surplus at the university. And they're dismantling a old hired Johnson's. And uh, they've been working there quite a bit. So just try to get that better. In. There we go, and bring some of this out. Kind of just there we go. Well, things are starting to shape up with this. It's amazing, you know. You just have to work at things, and eventually they just pop. And before you know it, you have your flower or your petal. But it takes time. You can't rush this. Uh, it's just amazing how, I mean, you just keep putting layers on and eventually things pop out. It just, you know, it looks lovely. Now, you know that light shades always come forward and the dark always goes back. It recedes. And when we did this, when we started out, we used a color wheel to see what the opposite of these shades would be. And I, I primed the canvas with orange because I thought that that would help pop these things out better. And it has, it has done that. Okay, so right in here, we wanna get something. Now, there's going to be some of those little stamens in here, so I don't wanna make this too dark. But I do want to be able to show that there is these different petals 
in here. <clears throat> Probably when I do um, put the stamens in, I'm going to have to use a lot of white with that. Let's see if we can highlight this a little bit more. I'd like to get more highlights in here. Um, so I went into my white. Okay, uh, let's see. Maybe right here. A little highlight. I'm holding my pinky onto the canvas. And right here, we can make this a little lighter too. Right here. All right. That's beautiful. I like it. All right, let me try to. Um, find a nice little detail brush. Well, I don't know if this would be enough. Yeah, I think I need a little detail brush in order, or else just to, uh, here we go, this looks nice. Um, this is a number four, it's a tiny little round brush. Uh, I'm going to get some yellow and some white. And we're going to try to get those stamens in there. And it's all right if some of that, uh, the um, orange or the red shows through this because it gives it a different kind of color. Now, what I'm doing is I'm rolling that brush. Now, I don't know if this is going to, I might need a little water actually too because you need to have it like flow pretty decently. Now they kind of curve, so let's see here. Now you're not going to see a ton of these because we got those petals that show on there. But we'll have it that it at least looks like there are some in here. They can meet at the bottom there. And uh, maybe this should be a little darker yellow. But it kind of brightens that up a little bit, kind of. Put some right in here too, right along that petal there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rinse that out. Let me just get a little orange with that, kind of put a little orange in with that yellow, kind of just giving it a little bit of a. Actually, and I could put some of that pink, uh, the magenta in there, kind of giving it a little bit more red. Let's see how this works, because it should, shouldn't be so bright. Yeah, there we go. I think that's better. Okay. Kind of just, kind of just bringing it in there. And then I'm going to work on that little petal right there with my little number two flat, number four, yeah, number two. Okay, let's see here now. Just go straight into my magenta. Just uh, kind of glaze over that. And add a little bit of my blue. Here. Some of those. Okay. Very good. I think that looks very nice. All right. So, my these here, I got to get those a little green, but uh, I want to do some yellow green on here. So, 
I'm getting my yellow green mixture. Uh, this is actually phthalo yellow green. And, uh, oh, thank you, Margaret. I do like these colors, too. <laughs> They're so pretty, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I like that, too. So I'm just going to kind of, um, just with a dry brush, kind of go in, in here. Maybe this is too dry of a brush. And I'm using a number 14 bright. Kind of just going in. Following the way the leaves go. And I may end up putting some yellow in this also, just to pizzazz it up a bit. This is also going to be green here. So I gotta get a little bit of my darker green. Kinda just get in there with that. Especially on this, this little bud that's here. wanted this a little brighter because it was so dull looking. And um, I need to get a little bit of brown here. Um, let me see if I can find my uh, raw umber because it, it, I need to get some of that. Or burnt sienna or raw sienna probably would be a good one. Should have some here somewhere. Red oxide, no, it's too dark. Too, too dark. Okay, so this is raw sienna. This is a Master's Touch Hobby Lobby. And I'd like to, oh boy, just put that right in the um, paint that I put out. Ugh, what a mess. All right, let me get my little trusty number six. Okay, we're going to get into that. Kind of just, I just do this with that. Just kind of outline this a little bit. Um, I'm working from two different types of pieces, too. So, two different pictures. And, uh, that's 
going to be a little darker. I'm going to just brush this in. I have my doggy here, I think, too, but I don't know where she's at. Sally, where are you? You here? Well, maybe not. <laughs> I thought she was. And uh, let's see. You can just kind of put this here. Yeah, so I like this picture much better, or this uh, idea of the lily pads. I think that it just looks more realistic to me. And I'm dry brushing once again. Not a whole bunch of paint on my brush. And like I said, I use dry brush a lot of the time. Very, very much. Uh, it seems to be my favorite um, usage. Now I'm going to add just a touch of yellow right in here. I like and then there's like a little kind of half moony thing I'll get that with a smaller brush okay now I'm gonna wipe that off and this little piece here has to be really dark Uh, the way this uh, little bulb is. So I'm going to add a little bit of dark to that also. A little bit of the blue. Just a tiny darken it up a little. So, there. Just kind of giving it a little bit more edge. Okay. Uh, same here. This is going to be a little lighter, but it also reflects into the water, so that we want that to happen. Now, let's see if we can get the same effect on these ones, uh, these leaves also. Just add a little bit more blue to shade here. Kind of giving it a little bit of... There we go. I'm going to rinse that out and just add a little bit more of this green in through here. Um, let's see here, this picture, how it's doing. It's really not uh, too. Oh yeah, Sally is in here. <laughs> I can hear her doing things. <laughs> she cracks me up. Okay, there she is underneath the backdrop there. Okay, all right. So let's see here. Let's get some color into that little bud. I'm kind of just making my strokes, start, you know, round, and hopefully right in through here, it's going to be a little darker, so we're going to get that, and uh, let's see if we can lighten that up a bit, add a little white into my magenta. I'm 
may end up just even taking that out because I really don't like it. Um, doesn't make much sense here. We'll see. I'm really not thrilled with that. Okay, washing off my brush again. Let's work on the rest of these lily pads here. Get some clean paper towel. Yeah, this is starting to shape up. It really is a nice picture. Okay, so I'm going into my yellow. And um, so I'm going into my yellow green also. And I'm loading the brush with both of these shades. So now I'm just going to come around here. Kind of getting some sunlight here. Bring these forward a little bit with the light. And I'm going to add some of my green, more green here. But I want to keep it dark around the petals. Now I'm going to go into my, uh, my raw sienna. Do the same thing that I did over here. Kind of just blending it in with that. Can you hear all the birds? Don't they sound pretty? I just enjoy summer so much. That's why I'm going to wait until um, probably around September to get my operation. They have to re redo my joint. It's going to be pretty painful from the way the doctor was saying. So I'm going to probably not be painting for a while. So I want to kind of enjoy what I have going here for now work as much as I can. Um, I'm going to go back to work on Monday. Thank goodness it's not hurting today. I can paint. my blue, put it into my oxide. That's that um, phthalo blue. Just kind of, oh, that's a little too much paint. I want to get a little darker in there. And I'm probably going to go over this again because I don't like the way that's turning out. I think that some of my paint is just a tad dry. So it's not doing what I want it to. Get some more of that yellow here. And we'll get some more of the uh, raw sienna. I haven't washed my brush, um, just dipping it into the colors or the shades, just kind of lightening it up as much as I can here. And I'm going to wait till that dries to actually get more of what I'm looking for. I'm going to put more of the oxide green out. some of that oxide green with my phthalo blue. Let's see if I can get 
get this a little bit more of a shade going here. Just a tad. Just want it a lot darker in, in between here. There we go. Kind of like a cast effect. I mean, it's not going to be that dark, you know, because this light is kind of shining from the front here, but I just want that to like pop out these, this uh, lily. Okay. Now, wipe my brush. I need to get some wipes. I think I have them over here. I am a messy painter. Baby wipes are great to wipe your hands, or even any paint cloth. It's uh, they really work well. Yeah, it's starting to shape up. It's starting to shape up. I'm looking back here. I can see that happening, and I'm really enjoying it. So, I'm gonna grab some of my yellow green and a little bit of my green oxide just kind of getting some of this to blend better almost like a um, glaze but I just wet my brush, kind of trying to get some of that brown in here like I did here. That's what I'm going to do. I do want this to blend better. I don't want that choppy look. And I think that's just because it's warm. And I think that that has something to do with trying to get the paint to move better. It just dries really fast. You know, acrylics do. So. Possibly add a little yellow to this. Just kind of getting some brightness here and there. There we go. Yeah, that's nice there. Now we got it. Okay. So let's go up to this one. Same kind of <clears throat> situation here. Just Dark here, just to give it a shadow. Shadowiness around the petals. Sienna. <clears throat> so 
this is the picture that I'm kind of working from. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I changed it a little bit, kind of giving it my own little style. But uh, yeah, that's the painting that I'm working from. And I found that on Pixabay. Pixabay. All right, so let's get this. Let's get some of that darker right in through here. The darker green. Make some of that, those petals kind of shadow it. And we can go into the yellow and the green. Okay. green and through here here and this is gonna have like a lighter lightness to it the shade to stick out This is starting to be really nice. Um, loving it. Loving it. Okay, I'm just going to pull that down a little bit more. Um, get this a little bit more of a shadow here. In here. I don't want that to be more light. Here it's darker. Sienna. Okay, now let's do this big leaf here. We're going to get that one. And um, you know what? I want to, like, uh, I don't know if I can get that to smooth better. Let me just put some of that in there. Um, I want to get my yellow just on the tip of my brush and put some little leafy lines in. Kind of just, uh, we got one here, we know. Um, just have some come out like that. Uh, let's see, one should be here, maybe. Just an indication that has some little lines. Okay, and let's see. Let's do one here. And uh, let's see, we'll have one here. Possibly right here. Let's see. It's a little dry. It just kind of gives it a little bit more of a pizzazz, you know? All right. So we're going to work on this one. Let's get my green. I'm gonna pull it up in here. More dry brush. A little more yellow here. 
going to be a little lighter here, but we want that shadow. And let's see here. I'm going to get some of this green. Oxide green, just straight. Oxide green. I'm going to just blend that a little bit. Keeping that shadow where it's at. Keeping the shadow in in that area. Okay, that is giving us some of that brown brownish shade in here. Not a lot. Um, just going to wipe that off a little bit, put a little bit more green in. Because this picture here shows a lot of this brown. And uh, I kind of like the idea that that's in there because it looks a little bit more natural. this dry a little bit. It could come up like that a little, I think. my oxide green. I'm going to just hit it up a little bit with the oxide green. Go a little bit with my lighter green. side just hit touching it just touching it a little bit and going into my yellow doing the same thing just touching it not like kind of just putting those little pieces in there Now we're just going to get this one, then we have to do the bud, little bud. It's kind of indicating where this is. I'd like to know what you guys would like me to paint next. I kind of wanted to do my themes as animals um, that are becoming extinct. Because uh, there's so much going on with um, killing these animals. And they're going to become extinct eventually if we don't pay attention. And I was... You know, I did a, uh, the elephant, kind of started out with that, and then I decided to do some lives, but 
I'm really uh, wanting to get back to that because it's important to know what's happening with these animals. So if you have any ideas, don't hesitate to let me know. Um, I'll just go there a little bit. This one's a pretty big one here. Uh, and I want to put some... Yeah, this is starting to shape up really nice. I like the way it's going. I'm going in here again with this. Just kind of giving it a little just little bit of shade here and this can also be lightened up a little Stepping back just to see where I'm at with this. Okay, I'm going to get my number four or number two flat because I want to put those little, little do thingies in there with the yellow. There's like little circles right in here. <clears throat> Uh, one right about here. <clears throat> There's one right here. Neighbors. And one up here. Okay, I don't think, well, this one here actually some of that dark is coming through here and this is like I kind of covered that up so I gotta get that back in there all right I'm gonna rinse that out so I could put that little yellow thingy in there Kind of just blends out. Okay, now I'm going to work on that lily pad at the bottom. I'm still not liking it, so I'm getting my bigger flat. This is my number 14 bright. I'm sorry, and I'm going to work on this a little bit more. <clears throat> Oops. Well, nice to know that that's stuck. All right, let me see if I can get it that look that I'm looking for here. drag some of that through. a little bit better now. Whoops, that's a little dark. That's all right. I can go back in there with the um, with the green. Got a little bit more of that kind of shade there. I 
And I might actually do this. I'm going to get my one brush here. Now this is a spatter brush. I don't know if you've ever seen something like this. Uh, it does spatter. And I'm going to go in, let's see my picture here I have. I am going to spatter some of this brown to see what happens here. So I have to get a little water in that. Kind of. Let's see if I can spatter. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. Oh yeah, that's good. Just spatter some of those little pieces in there. Try not to get it on the flower. Needs to be worked in a little bit. Add a little more water here. Just kind of spatter it in there. Um, now I will have the uh, tracing on my Patreon. Uh, the information is on the bottom here of the info section. Uh, you can get the tracing if you become a dollar donator. I mean, it's just for the tracing itself. It's uh, and any other tracings that I have in the future, which is kind of nice. So you you know help me out my station. Plus, you get to have the tracings. You could also join whatever you would like. I mean, whatever level you would like, you can join um, on my Patreon. So let's see here if we can get this. Now that orange is really popping through on this one. Just get a little white on that. I want to see on this. I want to kind of get that to. There we go. Lighten up a little on the side here. Okay, and um, this is going to reflect into the water. So I'm just going to add that reflection. Okay, and it's going to be a little bit of the green. Let me get my little brush here, my number six. I hope you give me a thumbs up. I'd like to see that here. Um, oh, kind of hard to see the. We'll see if we can get that in there also. Kind of like a shadow from that. Um, could be a little lighter here. Yeah, if you like my painting, I mean, it would be nice to have a little thumbs up, a little comment. Be nice. And then you could tell me what you'd like to see me do. I know I have to paint one um, for a friend that uh, requested a, um, you know those like masks, the happy and the sad masks? She'd like to see that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put in a little bit of a, um, a sprig here, like right here you can see there's a little sprig of uh, something in these things too. So I want to get a couple of those in there. Kind of give it a little bit more pizzazz. Um, I'm going to use my little round brush that I had here. Kind of use that raw umber. 
Okay, let's see here. We could probably put one right about here. Or we could go over this, which would be kind of neat to go over. Like there's some in this background too. So I might have to make that a little darker. Let's see. Just a tad dark. Get some of that raw umber here. Or raw sienna. All right, so let's see here. We'll put one here. We'll put one right here. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see, we could put one right here. Okay. This becomes more light. It's a little bit lighter here. Now, I always start from in and go out some people do it the other way so whatever is easiest for you um i always try to you know encourage however you would like something to look and now this sort of is like a green a brownish green yellow boy that's a lot of mixing in here so let's see if we can get that to work that in. Yeah, that might work. A little bit more yellow. Okay. And right here, it's kind of like a, I'm just going to draw this in like this. Just have it come in like that. And then this comes up. Also something that's like here and very fine one so let's see if we can get that to now, I'm not gonna put a lot of pressure on my brush when I'm doing this it's just gonna come in like that okay same here I want to get a little bit more of a highlight on that so that's gonna happen and let me see if I have a smaller brush, and I do. So let me get a little highlight on this. Must be lunchtime, my husband's out there. This is a very tiny one over eight angler. I love this little brush. Let me go into the brown. Just gives me what I need here. Okay. And I'm going to highlight that some more. And I'm going to use a little bit of white in here just to get that lighter, because I want that highlighted pretty well. <clears throat> it makes such a difference with the highlight. Just the white and the yellow mixed. Titanium white. Okay. It's just coming down. Make that little whatever that is there. So I'm going to highlight this and then we're going to just put little little lines here. So I'm going to use some of that green. Let's 
see how this works. Let me make sure that I made with the green. Okay, so these are just little things that go out. And I'm probably gonna end up using some darker green on top of those because it needs to be a little bit of depth. Get my green oxide. Not exactly sure what these are. Okay, and that goes right to the top. Um, I'm going to put another one real close to it. Oh, thanks, Grayscale. It is starting to pop, isn't it? It's amazing. It's just amazing how things have, you know, gets to that ugly stage and then boom, it works. Highlights it. There we go. And there's a really big one right in here. Comes out of the water, so let's see. I'm hoping my hand will be steady for this. Get a little bit of green and some of that raw sienna and it's just gonna come right down right in between these two here so let's hopefully I can do this without being and it's okay if it gets a little shaky I mean it's just I don't like to do that if I can help it It just sits in this little area. So now we can go into the green. I'm not sure what these little things are called. They look like little Christmas trees. Then we'll highlight this because it kind of is blending in with the, um, see if we can get that a little darker. Kind of blending in with the lily pad leaf. There we go. Now just get a little bit of depth here. our time with this one. Now, I'm just, okay, now we're going to have to go a little lighter, maybe. Um, so you can see them. I'm kind of just can be different uh, different sizes. Okay, now I'm gonna highlight that with some white and yellow. White and yellow, just to highlight them. A little bit so you can see them. And this 
holding up very nicely. Thank goodness. Wasn't sure if I was going to make it with this today. That injection really helped a lot. All right. I can just kind of that little bit of blue in there with some white that's coming out of the water there. Same with this. Get some blue in there. So there. Now we'll get these ones in the back that are very dark. So I am going to go with my raw sienna and green mixture. And as I add them back here, more of that blue, kind of dark back here, barely, barely even showing. really want these to be dark. Just the indication that they're there. That they're not even really showing. It's just an indication that if you look real close, you can see them. different sizes and kind of just just to indicate that they're there. All right. Now let's see if I can work on this a little bit more. I don't like that too much. So let's see. Now it shows it's really bright in there. I'm not sure why, but let me mix some of this uh, yellow and raw sienna. See if I can get this a little bit. Just some dry brushing. I kind of would like to put some of that, um, this brush my spatter brush, spatter, some more. Okay, just spattering through here a little bit more. Make it look like it has those little thingies on it. I don't want to get it on my lily. I think this is done. I mean, there's not much else I could do with it. I can kind of fix that a little bit more. I'll have to stand back and see if I need to do anything because it's kind of hard sometimes just seeing what what we have when you're looking at it on top of things. I really want that um, orange coming through here, kind of giving it that little bit of pizzazz. Bring that down a little bit. 
It's okay if it's a little pinky purple too because that's what's going to come out of this. Another lily just growing right out of the lily pad or the pad there. Just put a little bit of Just a little bit more of this. Ooh. Too white. <laughs> Too white there. Okay. And I think, and what I should do, just to make it more realistic, too, is kind of put uh, a little bit of a piece that comes down here. Kind of like just so it kind of shows that it's there that those things. All right, let me take a step back. All right, I think that's it. I think we have it finished. Um, now I'll just sign it, and I always like to sign with a paint marker. So I have, well, I have a Sharpie here, so this is a fine point. And um, I'm going to just sign it right over here uh, in the corner. Now, it might not go over the paint because it's wet. Okay. Let's try a paint marker. It might be better. Let's see. We have a brand new one. white one. Didn't want white. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. I have a Molotov. I don't know if it oh, it's still should work. It's got something in there. Okay, let's try it. Okay, this is maybe too light. But I always like to sign it. And uh, I'll probably cover that up and redo it because I don't like it. But thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, until next time or next week. And you can give me a, something in the comments what you'd like to see me paint. Um, if there's anything that you would uh, like to see, I'll be happy to do that. Until next time, bye. Wait a minute. I don't know how to shut her down. Okay. I don't know. I want to undo. I want to, okay.